uh, one of the writers in were talking about how there's just such a density of talent there. Ultra Slabs has started out making good decisions. Certainly, if we compare it to Calico, for example, which made a bunch of really bad decisions when it got going about eight years ago. A quick note, Uncle Sam wants you to help make this show successful. Subscribe and become a member today. One of the big things that Altos has done is it has hired, as you say, a lot of good scientists. The reason that's really important is because this means that um, there's unlikely to end up being a single school of thought that dominates the strategy that is taken within that company. Um, I mean, starting out with an emphasis on two areas, partial reprogramming and epigenetic clocks, which are, of course, closely related to each other. Um, but the point is, within those areas, there's a lot of stuff that we don't know, a lot of stuff that needs to be found out. And of course, there's a lot of diversity of opinion among the top people in the field. So the fact that Altos Labs have hired a bunch of the top people in both of those fields um, is a good sign. I think there is unlikely to be stagnation there. And I have a feeling that, I mean, certainly quite a few of the people who they've hired are very strongly, you know, uh, they definitely want progress. They don't just want to do science for the sake of finding things out. Um, so they want, they want to help humanity. And that means that I think there's going to be a good deal of collaboration between Altos and the rest of the ecosystem, which again is something that Calico have been decidedly poor at. Mm -hmm.